So when you want to sell service design more easily and explain the value of service design to potential clients, one of the things that works really well and you should do is talk about the price a company pays when a service failure occurs. So service failures are the moments we all know where something didn't feel like it was designed for us as customers and it happens every day. So talking about service failures makes a client realize um, sort of the price they pay when, a ser when their service isn't working. Now, in the Selling Service Design with Confidence course that I'm running, one of the students, Marsha, asked, is there a difference a company pays, uh, the price a company pays between service failures that happen through tech errors or that happen due to process or human errors? And I think that's a great question because there is a huge difference. If you think about it, usually when a service failure occurs due to a tech error like you didn't receive a status update email or uh, I don't know, the flight booking system uh, gives you an error page or something like that, that's not personal. Uh, and it's for a company, it's quite easy to fix that. You know, you'll, you'll be okay the next time they provide a solution. But uh, if a service failure occurs because it's a human error or a process error, like uh, a waiter that is being rude or the customer service people who don't uh, show empathy, now that's a big problem because what happens there is um, the price you pay is like you lose trust and regaining trust requires so much effort from a company that the, the penalty like for human service failures is much much higher. So the next time you're going to have a conversation with a client and you want to show and demonstrate the value of service design, let them think about service failures that they had to encounter and service failures where the uh, relationship was damaged, trust uh, issues, stuff like that. And let them think about, okay, how much is it worth to me to sort of make sure that that doesn't happen in our situation or that we can minimize the risk that that happens in our situation and a way to minimize that risk is to use service design to design those services. Anyway, you get the point. Service failures and there is a big difference between service failures due to tech and due to human errors. So great question, Marsha. If you're interested in learning more on how to sell service design, uh, check out the course Selling Service Design with Confidence and you'll be able to also ask questions like this. The link to the course is down here. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.